What's going on guys, Big and Aaron, this is a round two prediction video. I know, once again, I am one day late. I put my predictions on Twitter so that you don't know I was sweet. If you're not following me on Twitter, you probably should be. But in the background of this game, we have the game where everything goes in, except for that shot. <laughs> You'll see what I mean by the time we get to the end of this video. And like almost everything went in this game. And let's just say I don't blame this guy. Anyway, let's get right to the point and I have to touch on it before we get rolling with the round two predictions. Let's talk about the Red Wings real quick. Take some to game seven. A lot of people counted us out against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, really quick actually. People are picking sweep. People are picking five, six games. They put up a fight. The Red Wings put up a fight and actually they probably should have shut the door on the Lightning twice. I think I feel like they after they stole that game one, which they should not have won. Uh, Mrazek, uh, yeah, Mrazek stole that game. Uh, they should have shut the door in game six. They gave up three breakaways. They blew it. Game seven, you got Cromwell out. I'll talk about it quick. Uh, you got Cromwell out. You got Zidlicki out. You got the world's worst defensive lineup in the lineup, and. It wasn't their fault. It wasn't their fault. I hate to admit it, but they actually did pretty good. The bunch of teals out there. They actually, defensively, they did pretty good. I mean, nobody generated offense, so they didn't help that way. But we got some pretty, they got some good for You got Zetterberg, Datsuk, Nyquist, Tatar. Nobody could score a goal. Tatar had kind of a mini breakaway. Couldn't tuck it. Couldn't beat the cheat code. And we're at a point. We're going golfing. Tough one. It's a tough one. But anyway, the Cromwell hit. The Cromwell, okay. Here's my thing. Obviously, I'm extremely biased, and I don't think he should have been kicked out. But you got you got a lot of people, whether you're a fan of the Red Wings, you're not a fan of the Red Wings. In Game 7, it's got to be crystal clear. I mean, you can't... Game 7, sure, in the middle of the season, fucking kick him out. I don't care. Kick him out for 2 or 3. Who gives a shit, right? It's a game... In the middle of the season, it doesn't matter. Fine them. Nobody cares. They all make millions of dollars. Like, nobody cares about a fine. Uh, but at game seven, it's got to be crystal clear. There was no injury. There was no nothing. There's tons of other hits where guys have a foot up, hitting a guy in the head, and there's no penalty. There's no hearing. There's no nothing. And you're going to take out the Red Wings' best defenseman for game seven. Game seven. The season's on the line. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous. I th I don't know. I don't think it's good. I don't think that was good for the NHL at all. Anyway, I'm a biased Red Wings fan, but game seven. It's fucking game seven. Unreal. Unreal. Anyway, I'm done talking about that. I'm still stressed. I'll be talking about that. Yeah, that's gonna come up always. Like people thought I would get over that within 24 hours. No, no, no. I'm not getting over. I might get over that in 24 years. That's gonna come back up always. Game seven. Get out of here. Terrible. Anyways, let's go on. Round one. No, let's go round two. Prediction. I'm going, all right, since we're talking about Tampa Bay Lightning, I, now they're playing against the Habs, and it's a tough matchup for them. I'm going with the Habs on this one, and the reason is Stamkos is cold as ice. The guy's cold as ice. Now I know. They beat your Red Wings when he was cold as ice. I get it. I get it. I mean, if you would have told me, if you would have told me, yeah, Stamkos isn't going to score He's not going to get any points against the Red Wings. I would have said, all right, let's fucking double down on the Red Wings then because I put a lot of weight on Stamkos being lights out for the uh, for the success of the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I'm still doing that. Going up against, I don't think they can do it again. Like the Wings took him to seven. This guy snipes on me. The, the Wings took him to seven with him not scoring. Tyler Johnson was absolutely amazing. I, see, I didn't know much about Tyler Johnson. I didn't know my, I knew he had a great season, but I never really watched that many games of uh, of the Lightning. The guy's unreal. That guy's amazing. Nang! God, he's fast, and he's good, and he's got a good shot. Anyway, I don't know if he can uh, carry them past. I don't think he can carry them past Montreal Canadiens. Anyway, I guess time will tell. I think Carey Price is going to shut him out, and uh, I'm going with the Habs in about six. Let's say six. Anyway, let's go. Next round, or next one. Uh, the Ducks over the Flames. Everybody knows I'm picking this. I already said last round they have the easiest path to the conference finals. And I still believe that. I really do. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a quick one. And I know the game was already played last night. And they won, what, 5 or 6 1. So I don't think they'll do that every game. Hopefully, Giordano can get back and make it a series. I heard he might be back. And then I heard maybe round 3 if they make it. I don't, I don't think they're making it, though. I'm going with the Ducks. I mean, they're just solid all the way through. You can, as soon as Getzloff and Perry are gone, I mean, these guys, like, Getzloff got, like, four points last night. The guy's unreal. Those guys are, like, if they're going 
it's GG. Like they're they're just good. They're just good. People were uh, were doubting their goalies. I mean, not Anderson. I think he's I think he's pretty good. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going with the Ducks, and I think it's going to be a quick one. Four or five. I'm going to call another sweep. Let's go with another sweep. Uh, sorry, Flames fan. I doubted you last time. Congratulations on your win. I mean, you're solid, but it's Hoodler. Like, Hoodler's your number one guy. Your number one point getter. It might not be your number one guy, but your number one point getter. I just don't. I like Hoodler. Don't, I wish he was back in Detroit, but yeah, I just don't know. I don't think so. Not over the Ducks. Not over the Ducks. Good win last round, though. I was wrong on you. Anyway, let's go. Rangers versus Caps, and I went against these guys last round, and I probably shouldn't have, because now I feel like it's kind of a similar matchup. Even though the Capitals won last night, I gotta go with the Rangers. I just think they're just too solid all the way through. All the way through. You got the King in net. You got an elite goaltender in net. You got a solid blue line with some scoring. You got Yandel in there, and then you got some forwards up front that can snipe. These guys are just solid all the way through, and I think the Capitals are a little more. Uh, I think they're more uh, like. I think the Capitals are one of the most exciting teams in the league to watch. I like watching them a lot. I would love to see Ovi go on. I just. I like the hype. I like the hype. But uh, I got to go with the Rangers. I can't go against them twice. I went against them last round. I'm not doing it again. I think Ovi's, uh, I think Ovi's run stops this round. I think that's it. I'm going with the Rangers. Now the last one, the Wild versus Chicago. I think this is the toughest series to predict. Either this one or the Rangers one. But uh, yeah, I, I'm going to pick. I'm picking the Minnesota Wild. I'm picking them to go on a run here. Like give it an honest shot. So I said at the start of the year, the very start of the season, these guys are cup contenders. And then they started out great. And then they started shitting the bed. <laughs> they started shitting the bed. They get Dubnik. And now all of a sudden they're back in it. And I'm going to ride the hot goaltender because I'm going with Dubnik. And speaking of hot goaltenders, like, who do you got? Like, by the way, fucking cue that music. Who do you got? Like, you are you dar You got Darling or you got Croft? Like, what's going on? And that is one good thing that Chicago has, actually. They got a lot of good things, but they got two goaltenders that can step in there and steal a game, right? That darling, he's good. He's good. But I'm going to Minnesota Wild. I like the team build, although one key factor, the guy can single-handedly steal games, and I'm not talking about Patrick Kane, although he can. So can Taves. Fucking Hosa. Uh, you got, they're just stacked all the way through. But Duncan Keith, I think he's one of the best. I really do. I'm a big, big Duncan Keith fan. By the way, I wouldn't have went against the Chicago Blackhawks in round one if I knew Shea Weber wasn't going to be in the series. <laughs> Look at that goal. Everything's going in. Tough one. I don't blame this guy for quitting. Anyways, those are my picks. I'm going with the Minnesota Wild there. I think it's going to be a great series. Though. I'm picking seven. I'm going seven games on that one. Anyway, let me know what your picks are in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys like this video. We'll see you guys soon.